Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Tejaswini and my apologies for not having posted uh, as often as I should. But today I'm back with this glittery cocktail party nighttime makeup look for you guys and I hope you enjoy watching this. So I'm going to start with uh, lots of velcro rollers and a squeaky clean face. I am going to moisturize with the pack makeup moisture lotion and this is great for someone who has dry skin. I'm taking a generous sized dollop and this is really really good if you're going to wear uh, you know a lot of makeup and your skin is really dehydrated in the winter time. Then I'm going to put my favorite Jack Black lip balm and just uh, make sure the lips are richly moisturized and now I have my freedom brow pomade this is in the color ash brown and I'm just going to fill in my eyebrows with an angle brush and if you guys can notice I've really really grown my brows out and they've become a lot thicker and I'm not able to decide if I love it or hate it so comment below and tell me what you think help me decide I'm using a MAC Pro Longwear Concealer as my eyeshadow primer and working that in with the concealer brush. This is the Morphe E20. On the Sigma E35, I took the well-loved shade called Buon Fresco from the Anastasia Modern Renaissance and just tapped off the excess. I am working this in as my transition and I just love the dusty pink shade and uh, you know almost all smoky eye looks come out really really well blended when this shade goes in my transition. On the same brush, I took Tempera, which is a matte highlight shade and uh, whoa, I got a lot of kick off there. You must tap off the excess and um, yeah, that's nothing I can't fix and I just blended that away quickly. And now I'm taking the Kiko Long Lasting Stick Eyeshadow, which is a very pretty brown shade and it has like golden reflects of glitter. So I'm just going to use this as the base color of my eyeshadow look today. And I'm blending that with the Sigma E30 which has synthetic bristles so it blends uh, creamy shadows also really really well I've taken Makeup Geeks Corrupt which is a matte black eyeshadow and I'm just deepening up the outer corner with the same Sigma brush and blending it nicely and while blending I went a little too far out so I took a, a clean flat brush and I used it as an eraser and just cleaned up the you know excess eyeshadow just to make it look proper Then I took the clean and fluffy Morphe M433, took Buon Fresco again and started to work that into the crease again so that uh, the black eyeshadow is well blended and looks uh, super super seamless and not patchy at all. And then again I took Buon Fresco on a pencil brush and started to uh, smoke out the lower lash line. I also took Cypress Umber which is a dark brown shade on the same pencil brush and smoked out the outer third of the lower lash line. So that finishes all my eyeshadow work uh, and now I'm going to move on to some glitter. This is from Makeup Geek and this is the color called Utopia. It's a lovely uh, golden glitter with a little bit of a black uh, undertone to it and I'm just uh, taking some of it out on a metal plate. I like to use the Kryolan Cake Eyeliner Sealer to fix the glitter in place and I'm just taking a little tiny droplet of that next to the glitter and I'm going to use a small lip brush uh, and just uh, you know dip it in the liner sealer and pick up the glitter on it. Now uh, this helps the glitter stick better and always use a small brush to uh, apply the glitter because you know you want to work in smaller areas and not get all over the place. Uh, glitter fallout is really really difficult to clean up and it's inevitable which is why I didn't do my base first and uh, I didn't even put primer because I know that I'm going to have a little bit of fallout on my cheeks and it'll be easier to clean if there is no base. With a jet black coal pencil from Lancome, I uh, started to fill in my waterline.
I also took this up on my upper lash line and I just did a very very thin and rough line. I wasn't looking to do an eyeliner, I was just looking to create some definition. This just makes the lashes look thicker. And I also took the Morphe M432 brush and just uh, smudged this line around a little bit. I think my number one most necessary beauty tool is an eyelash curler and I feel that way even more on an airplane because I think airport security thinks that you can kill someone with an eyelash curler, they just don't let you in with it. And uh, then I'm going to put my trusty Benefit The Ariel on my lashes. So I went off camera and applied my favourite pack number 59 lashes, just love the outer corner and the way it curls upwards. Now I have micro porous tape which I am going to just uh, use to pick up all the glitter fallout on my face. This is my favourite trick. With the Becca Backlit Priming Filter, I am going to selectively prime parts of my face and I've just taken a small dollop of that. With my foundation brush, I'm just going to apply it in all the areas that I want to have looking more luminous. I don't like to put this on my whole face, I look really really sweaty in pictures. So uh, just on the temple and you know on the cupid's bow, center of the chin, just basically the central area of the face which I want to light up and now I have the Kiko Natural Concealer in number 7 which is actually uh, an under eye corrector and orange corrector and I'm just going to blend that out with my brush and with my beauty blender. For concealer I have the Kiko full coverage concealer in the shade number 4 and I'm going to apply this with my um, Morphe E20 brush. I'm going to use the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Stick Foundation. I'm dotting it all over my face and I'm in the shade N125. I am going to blend that to perfection with my Damp Beauty Blender. I love the finish of this foundation and uh, the high coverage that it has without uh, feeling heavy or cakey on the face. So this is the Strobe and Sculpt Cream Contour Palette from Kiko and I'm using it for the first time today and if you guys want a very detailed review of this just let me know in the comment section below. I am applying the highlighter in this um, on the high points of my face with the Morphe E20 brush. I just love how beautiful and natural this is, it's like a rose gold color and I'm applying it to the cupid's bow of my lip, center of my nose as per usual. The colour of the cream contour in this palette was pretty cool toned which is why I was so drawn to it and which is also essential to fake them supermodel cheekbones which um, all of us deserve but none of us really have so that's what we're going to do. I'm using a combination of the beauty blender and the brushes to blend this line out. I want to uh, create a very believable and natural kind of definition. I don't want dark brown lines running down my cheeks and looking uh, really really unflattering. So I'm just going to blend it out as much as possible and keep it very very natural looking. I'm creating a similar kind of illusion of depth under my jawline to make it look more chiseled and now I'm going to powder the rest of my face. I'm using my Chanel loose powder and a fluffy powder brush to set all the under eye makeup and everywhere else I concealed. So once the rest of the makeup was in place, I jumped into blush. This is uh, Pample Mousse and this is from the Becca Jaclyn Hill palette. I'm using a Real Techniques Multitask brush to apply this. And now onto the lips, I'm just removing the excess lip balm and I'm going to start lining my lips. 
and I was actually going for a very nudie kind of uh, lip with this look. I didn't want anything pink or peachy pink which is what it turned out to be with this Chambord lip liner. Uh oh, this was so not the color I had in mind. So I went for the Kylie Cosmetics uh, liquid lipstick in the color Ginger, which is a nice brownie nude and uh, which is what I had in mind with this eye makeup look. And that is our finished look for the evening. I'm going to quickly slip into my accessories and outfit. And you guys could totally pair this up with a little black dress or a shimmery gown this New Year's Eve. If you do recreate this, do not forget to share it with me. And you guys have a very, very happy and prosperous New Year. Kisses to all of you. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.